Hello good dear viewers, still on trigonometry. Today we are going to learn about reference angles. What is a reference angle? Well, um, reference angle of any angle is the distance of that angle away from x-axis, which implies that a reference angle is an acute angle which is always positive. And how can we obtain reference angles? Well, if you are in quadrant number one, Reference angle of all the angles in quadrant number one is exactly the same as the angles. So if you're talking about 30 degrees, reference of 30 degrees is still 30 degrees. But what if you are in quadrant number two? Reference angles of all the angles in quadrant number two is equal to 180 degrees, O pi, minus that angle. For example, if you're talking about 120 degrees, the reference angle of 120 degrees is 180 minus 120, which is what? 60 degrees, which implies that 60 degrees is the reference angle of 120. What if, if you are in quadrant number three, third quadrant, you take that angle, you subtract 180. I'm going to illustrate it here. For example, if you have 225, in that, in that quadrant. If you want to find its reference angle, you can just subtract 180 away from 225. What if you are in quadrant number four, you take 360 degrees O2 pi in radian, you subtract that angle in quadrant number four. So let us illustrate it here. Um, suppose we have a unit cycle like this, Let's assume this is a unicycle. Um, if we have an angle in the first quadrant, let's assume this is 30 degrees. We say that theta is equal to 30 degrees. Then theta prime, this is how we illustrate a reference angle of that angle, will be what? The angle itself. All the angles, we have so many special angles here, like 30, right? We have 30, we have 45, we have 60 here all of them their reference angle will be the same as the angles but or if you are somewhere here uh, like 120 degrees 120 degrees you can see that it is less than 180 degrees so if you have an angle theta equal to 120 degrees its reference angle will be equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees and reference angle will be what 60 degrees what if you are situated somewhere here let us assume this is 210 degrees um, to find the reference angle for 210 you can take the theta which is the actual angle its reference angle will be the angle which is 210 minus this is 180 right minus 180 degrees and this will give us 30 degrees so therefore the reference angle of uh, 210 is equal to 30 degrees subsequently you you get to know why we need this reference angle it is very important because for instance if you want to find um maybe sine of 210 degrees which maybe you have to use calculator, you can simply find sine of 30 degrees because we have mastered all the one, two, three, four, five angles in the first quadrant. Zero or 360, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees. We know how to find their ratio, sine and cosine, including tangent. So if you want to find like um, sine of 210 degrees, one thing you have to do first is to locate the position which is in the um, uh, third quadrant. Then you find out which sign is attached to sign in the quadrant number three. You know sign depends on y axis and we know that this y axis is negative. Therefore sine of 210, we know the result will be negative something. So since it is negative something, you can just write negative sign of the reference angle, which is 30 degrees. 
so finding sine of 30 degrees is very simple right so if you are in quadrant number four for example i, I know we have 330 here right this is another special angle so if theta is equal to 330 degrees its reference angle will be 360 degrees minus 330 degrees which implies that the reference angle is equal to 30 degrees so to find the reference angle first of all determine the position of that angle if it is in quadrant number three subtract 180 from that angle if you're in quadrant number two subtract the angle from 180 if you are in quadrant number four subtract the angle from 360 if you are in quadrant number one the angle will not change it will remain the same so in general this is how the formula goes we have four formulas so reference angle here will be reference angle here will be 180 degrees minus the angle if you are in quadrant number four the reference angle will be equal to the angle minus 180 degrees if you are in quadrant number four the reference angle will be equal to um, 360 degrees then minus the angle and you can also do it in radian so if you are here if the angle given to you is in radian remember it will be pi minus the angle and here it will be um, equal to the angle minus pi if you are here the reference angle will be 2 pi which is 360 degrees then minus the angle then if you are in the first quadrant uh, the reference angle is the same thing as the angle itself so subsequently when we start finding the ratios of some angles um, you don't have to find exactly the ratio of that angle all you have to do is to master this four talking about spatial angles but if angles are not spatial you have to use calculator <laughs> unless if you have to uh, unless if you want to approximate them so this is all about a reference angle in our next tutorial we are going to talk about co-terminal angles because i want to gather all this information before we dive into calculations bye, -bye.